I'm going to cook some Kung Pao chicken today. Kung Pao is the gentleman's name who first came with this style of chicken. Okay, I'm cooking chicken. Um, the most important thing in this style is uh, uh, the dried chili. Okay, dried chili like that. Okay, use this to cook together with the chicken. Okay, this dried chili you can get um, any kind of the uh, grocery store here, American store um, or um, Chinese store or even the Japanese store and uh, the Korean store, okay? Um, this this uh, uh, dried chili uh, during the cooking, it will um, release really good, really good aroma, okay? Um, we cook it until it brown but not black. Okay, it releases really good aroma. It's different from the uh, fresh chili or from other chili sauce. It's different. Okay, I use some dried chili and some uh, Sichuan peppercorn, one teaspoon. Okay, and uh, of course, I use the some chicken. Okay, um, it's a chicken breast meat, cut it into about half inch square cube. Okay, and it's about uh, um, one pound and a half. Now I'm going to marinate it. Okay, I do this first because later we need some marinating time. I can do other things later. Okay, a little bit about half teaspoon dark soy sauce for the color um, is white meat. Okay, and a little bit one teaspoon light soy sauce. about one tablespoon cornstarch and some Chinese cooking wine one tablespoon okay and about one tablespoon just tap water to keep it keep the moisture okay stir them evenly mix it well and then let it sit for about 20 minutes that's what we call the marinating okay okay so during the marinating time I do the rest of them okay okay for this dry chili you just simply tear it use your hands and if you do not want very spicy, you discard the seeds by just shaking it and slightly squeeze a little bit, okay? And only use this part, discard the seeds part, okay? If you like very spicy, you keep the seeds, okay? Just simply tear it. Okay, um, this is dry spice. Okay, I put them together because I'm going to use them uh, in the same time. Okay, so dried chili and the citron peppercorn. Okay, and I got some peanuts, roasted peanuts. Okay, and I'm going to um, peel, peel, the, peel it off, peel the skin off. I actually, you can buy it, uh, roasted peanuts. Actually, I roast it myself in my oven. You can use, um, pan roast on your stove top but I think even um, I mean even easier in my oven I put the um, temperature on 350 degree Fahrenheit and roast it for six minutes okay and let it cool down um, to room temperature then very easy to peel it off because I really like the fresh roasted peanuts. Um, I do not like very, you know, stale one. Um, the smell, not good for me, okay? So, um, I will do the rest. I need about one cup. And then, um, I use, um, this green onion is kind of small. I need two, two um, three pieces of uh, green onion and cut it in about one third inch pieces, okay? Uh, uh. 
and uh, I use um, some ginger root, cut it in panel. Okay, about six to eight very thin panels. And use uh, three cloves of garlic. Just roughly chop it. I use those three, ginger root, green onion, and garlic at the same time. So it's simply just put them in same plate, same mobile. Okay, now I'm going to um, prepare some, uh, um, we call it mixed sauce, okay? This is the Chinese Sichuan style red bean chili in Chinese pi xian dou ban. We need about one tablespoon of it. It's salty and uh, spicy. Okay, and then uh, half teaspoon dark soy sauce. About four tablespoon light soy sauce. And uh, a little bit, about half teaspoon of vinegar is for the clean taste. I'm not doing a sweet and a sour flavor, okay? But a little bit of vinegar will help the clean taste. Um, and sesame oil, okay? Uh, for the really um, prettier, brighter for the later. Mm -hmm. Half teaspoon. And uh, some corn, corn starch about one teaspoon and add a little bit about one tablespoon of just a tap water okay mix them well I'm going to use this later okay I do this instead of to um, use them individually later directly to my wok is try to save time and uh, it's convenient for the cooking, okay? And actually, personally, I like to put a little bit of sugar, like a half teaspoon sugar, okay? To let the whole flavor, to balance the whole thing, okay? Make it mild. Okay, now I'm going to cook. 